It's 2023, and if you're shopping for a home in the Portland area and striking out and really having a hard time because you can't find anything that's in your price range, well, let's break down some cities outside of Portland where you might have some better luck finding something under $500,000. First of all, let's break down some methodology. What do we mean when we say median price? I'm not asking you to remember your high school math lessons. Median is if we took all of the prices and all the data points in a particular area and said, we're gonna list them from top to bottom. Median is the middle point. So some of the prices are higher and some of the prices are lower. But the first area on our list today is Hubbard, Oregon. It's about 26 miles south of Portland and right now you can get a home in Hubbard for around $456,000. The population of Hubbard is 3,440 people. It's also close to Woodburn, which is a little bit larger town that is also south of Portland, where you'll find a majority of the services you might be looking for, like grocery stores and gas stations. In Woodburn, which is next on our list, you can get a home there for $450,450. That is about 31 miles south of Portland, and the population of Woodburn is 26,054 people. So what you'll find in Woodburn is also, it's situated along the freeway, so there's easy access to I-5. There's some employment there, but also the Woodburn Company Stores, which is an outlet mall that drives a lot of traffic and tourist activity. So if you like to be close to shopping options like that, Woodburn has that to offer. The next location on our list takes us down to Salem, Oregon, which is the capital, of course, of the state of Oregon. And it is a bit of a drive, but for those folks who are looking for something that truly is affordable, the further south you go, generally speaking, you tend to find areas that are less expensive. So really for most people that would consider this, it's a balance of commute distance and commute time versus finding a home that's affordable. So right now in Salem, generally speaking, the median price in Salem is $485,000. If you're going to be commuting to and from Salem, it's around 46 miles from Salem to Portland. Salem is a large city and the population is around 177,000 people. What you'll find in Salem is like a lot of big cities. You're going to find hospitals, universities, lots of shopping. The next area on the list is Aloha, which is a part of Beaverton. Right now you can find something for a median price of around $4.99. Aloha is about 13 miles from Portland and Beaverton, generally speaking, has a population of around 53,000 people. And of course, it's proximity to Beaverton where there's a lot of employment and is kind of the tech hub for the area. So as far as an affordable option that is close into the metro area, Aloha might be worth considering as well. Next city on the list takes us to the far, far west side, and that is Scappoose. Scappoose is a small town in Columbia County along the Columbia River. It's a nice, pretty location, but if you're looking for a small town that gives you a country lifestyle, you might enjoy looking at what Scapoose has to offer. Right now in Scapoose, you can find a home for around $472,300. That's the median sale price there. Scapoose is a bit more of a drive. It's 21 miles, and you're going to be taking Highway 30 from Scapoose into the northwest side of Portland to get to where you need to go there. However, there is a chance that you can take Cornelius Pass Road from Highway 30 over into the west side into Hillsborough and the Beaverton areas. That might be another option if you are looking to commute to those areas for employment. Scapoose has a population of about 8,000 or so people. You do have some shopping and some restaurants in town. There is a Fred Meyer. So you do have some decent services there if you're looking to live in a place like Scapoose. The next city on the list is a neighbor to Scapoose's West, which is St. Helens. So again, it is another small town, but right now you can get a home for a median price of $462,400. So again, it is a small town and Scapoose is going to be the next town with ha that has a bulk of services there available to you. Um, and again, relatively close access there to Cornelius Pass Road, which will take you over to the west side if you do work in that Hillsborough or Beaverton area. But if you're looking to commute to Portland, you're looking at about a 27 mile drive. The next city on the list is Gladstone. It is another Portland Metro close in town. It's close to Oregon City and Milwaukee, but also it is very close to I-205. So if you need to commute to the airport 
or to the east side or any employment, you do have some great transit options coming out of Gladstone. Right now, the median price of a home in Gladstone is $499,475. The next city on the list is the town of Jervis, and that is located just outside of the Woodburn area as well. So if you're looking for something that's affordable in another small town, Jervis is close to Woodburn where all of those extra services are located. Jervis itself has a few things. I think there's a Dollar General, but you do have close access to Highway 99, which will take you to Salem or even north towards Portland or some of those areas in Clackamas County. In Jervis right now, the median home price is $463,000. $900 and to get to Portland, it's a drive of about 35 miles. The next area on the list is the town of Lafayette. That is located in Yamhill County on the far west side of the Portland area. It is another small town. It's situated on Highway 99W. So if you need to get to McMinnville or you need to get to Newburgh, those are really going to be the two larger areas for you to find services like grocery stores or shopping, restaurants, and things like that. You also could drive over the hill to the Beaverton and Hillsborough area if that is where you are employed. So that is something to consider as well. So what I have here is that it is about 42 miles if you were to drive from Lafayette to Portland, but if you're looking to go to Beaverton, it's a drive of about 29 to 30 miles. Right now, the median price of a home in Lafayette is $466,100. A neighbor to Lafayette is Carleton, another town situated in Yamhill County. And in Carleton right now, the median home price is $489,100. What's wonderful about Lafayette and Carleton is you're really kind of in the heart of Oregon wine country. So if you're looking for something that's a slower pace of living, but also the access to Oregon's beautiful and scenic wine country, then maybe this would be a place for you to consider. You can also drive over to the west side of the metro over the hill uh, to get to Beaverton and Hillsboro pretty easily. So if we want to drive to Portland from Carleton, it's about a 44 mile drive. If you drive into Beaverton, you're looking at about a 26 mile drive. There's your list of areas outside of Portland proper where you can still find a home for under $500,000. Now I get it, small town life may not be for everyone, but if you're looking to make a move, maybe it's your first time home and you're willing to go to a place where a lot of other people may not consider it, you might find that the lifestyle and even some of the sacrifices you have to make when you live outside of that major metro hub could be worth it to get into the home buyer market. So if you are a first time buyer and you're curious about what it's gonna take and even what it's like to live in some of these Portland area suburbs and towns, I'm Jennifer Scherter and I'm a real estate agent that knows my way around those areas very well. So let me know, I'd be happy to talk to you.